Suffering is the opposite of comfort. And what does everyone want to do in this life? They want to be comfortable as hell, you know what I'm saying? Get the best couch, get the best TV, you just couch lock and enjoy. Lays up with a bag of Lay's chips. Viewer discretion is advised. Do I suffer? Yes, do you suffer? I suffer on a daily basis. So other situations that are suffering in my head are not suffering. They're just simple enjoyments. When you live life, do you seek for comfort? Or do you seek for discomfort in order to achieve change? Us as humans, things that are comfortable are, are familiar to us. Watching TV is something that's very familiar to us. That's why it feels good. A way to, I guess, you know, release certain chemicals such as serotonin, dopamine and all that stuff, right? Once we find familiarity, which is a habit, we tend to do them over and over and over again, right? But once we start looking for discomfort, because we got so sick of comfort, some people do not, they never get sick of comfort. Um, once we start looking for discomfort, that's when uh, we get exposed to a certain stress. Right? And once we're exposed to this certain stress, let's say, um, let's say running one kilometer, okay? Once you do that, the next time you run one kilometer, it's gonna be much easier. So what happens to us is, we go through this certain stress, the instinct and the capabilities of us going through stress increases. So what that means is that once we place into some other type of stress, all of a sudden we can take more of it because we increased our threshold for stress capability. And every time we expose ourselves to more and more stress, it's like we're priming ourselves, like prepping. A person that has never been exposed to stress and all of a sudden his family member dies or passes away, which is a completely natural and uh, nature full experience of being a human, they all of a sudden crumble because they're not used to that much stress, right? But a person that's been prepping themselves every single day for stress, you know, putting themselves in stressful situations, uh, pushing themselves above, above their limits and stuff like that, can take that stress much, much easier because they're used to stress. Their bodies are used to it, right? Same as you going to the gym, working out, I don't know, let's say your arms. All of a sudden your arms are bigger. Same exact thing with stress. That goes to show and tell that we need to fucking suffer. There's no other way of becoming stronger or expanding your reservoir for stress threshold. You need to put yourself out there. You need to suffer. The thing is, as a human species, right? We learn to adapt. And it's like nature versus nurture. As we all did, grew up around the beautiful, comfortable surrounding, nurture, right? Our parents provided us everything that we need, food, comfort, entertainment, everything that comes to mind. Mm. So we didn't really seek for it, but we grew up around it, we grew up around these habits. So we believe that that's the, that's the way of life, you know? Just, uh, beautiful comfortable life without any suffering since humans adapt even if it's weird if you constantly keep doing it you're gonna adapt to it and you're gonna see it as your as your as your routine it might be difficult to 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 find comfort in discomfort as humans adapt they no matter what situation you go through no matter what situation you put it through they learn to adapt to that to that to that surrounding that change so all of a sudden you see hey watching tv on a couch is the same as running a kilometer every day or every morning you know because you adapt to it they stole the opportunity from us to learn from nature how to live a life that's fulfilled obviously if a man lives in the wild there's no tvs there's no couches he hunts for his food gathers his, his wood to make a, a fire you know he doesn't just turn on his heater and he's hot you need to suffer in order to grow as a person in order to understand the bigger picture of life
to see your our full potential. It's winter, right? Once you look at this beautiful trail. It's winter. It's be it's wow. This trail is beautiful. But there's nobody here. It's only us two. Why? Because it's fucking cold. Look at look at your red nose, huh? Look at us. Fucking freezing. But guess what? Without yeah, the true. frost, without the cold, we wouldn't experience this beauty of life. We managed to find a perception and a perspective that gives us a very, you know, it gives us a new kind of meaning, a new outlook on life. That's what I feel like you're trying to say. But then when you, I guess when you start to suffer, when you, you know, when you expose yourself to cold, when you start running outside. When you suffer, when you seek for change, when you, when you do things that annoy you, uncomfortable, you know? Something where you, you have to give it all you got to achieve that. Not just fucking take off your shoes, pop a bag of chips, hey, I'm fulfilled, mm. satisfied. That shit is awesome as fuck, don't get me wrong. It's fucking beautiful. But to do it every day, all day is like, holy fuck. It gets boring, everything gets boring. Trying to make your own potato chips, you know? Suffer. Peel some potatoes, boil some fucking chips, and then see if that's gonna be the sweeter outcome than just buying a bag of chips. I bet you it's gonna be more satisfying because you learned the process. Oh, I can do myself. I learned how to do this through, you know, agony and suffering. Some people might see, oh, suffering, you're fucking stupid. I don't wanna suffer. But suffering is just putting yourself into discomfort, into change, trying to grow. People constantly think that. We are suffering. Oh fuck, you know, my girlfriend left me. Oh fuck, I lost his job. But the other thing is, if you change your angle, if you change your perspective, then you win. You learn the positive outcome. Yeah, instead of, instead of let's say you saying, uh, oh, you know, it fucking sucks that my girlfriend left me, dude. All this, all that. I won't be able to have sex. She doesn't like me. She doesn't accept me. That's one outlook on how you can view that situation. Or you can also be like, I'm very grateful for this experience that has happened to me because not a lot of people get to experience this sensation and emotions on a daily basis. I'm one of the people on this planet that has great opportunity and chance to feel and get exposed to these feelings. Thank you very much, universe, Lord, whatever, God, for giving me this, this, this opportunity, right? Yeah. And then what happens is you keep doing that over and over again in those situations that feel uncomfortable, all of a sudden, every situation is natural is natural not only that but it feels like it's it's not suffering anymore it feels like it's it's life. meant to be it's, it's life. meant to be yeah and then what happens then it's like what is it easier tell me is it easier to sit down and do your work when somebody's tormenting your mind in your head or is it easier to sit down and do your work and you know achieve whatever you want and proceed with your life when you accept things and you know without any distractions all of these tools and all of these tools and and energies and everything is placed in front of us okay it's just up to us to take the toolbox and pick which tool we want to use for our life yeah it's up to you if you want to see the bad side or the good side of it because if, if a person yeah exactly if a person let's say keeps dwelling on how okay he's a, i'm a bag of, okay i'm not gonna say i am because no let's say <laughs> In third person, he's a bag of shit, he doesn't, he's lazy, he's fat, he's not organized, his girlfriend left him, he's not worth anything. Do you think he's going to feel good about himself thinking those things? And also, what is the chances of that person, I don't know, let's say, placing certain goals and doing something about that? Or is he going to keep dwelling on that and kind of keep going more into negative holes? Instead of just being, okay, she left me. It's meant to be. What can I do to improve what I've learned from this experience? So in other relationships, this is not an obstacle. Yeah. I'm going to make sure that my other girlfriend sees that I'm organized, I'm clean, I'm this. And really be organized. Don't be organized for the other girlfriend. Be organized for yourself. Because everything you do at the end of the day is for yourself.